For those of you who don't know about this, this is where the headless corpse of uh, Roderick Mackenzie was buried about this time in July in 1746. Nelly, who is descendant of Roderick, uh, and is here and is going to um, lay the white roses on the grave. It's always seemed to us that um, a great thing is made of uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie's escape with the flora and, and uh, the boat and so on. But the really important thing that happened was when he was surrounded here, pretended to, to, that he was the prince, they thought he was the prince, and they cut off his head, headless buried, body buried here, but that gap of ten days was probably instrumental in Prince Charlie escaping, because he may well have been up there in Glendoe at the Prince's Cave. And I think this is a Mackenzie whiskey, <laughs> and that's for Roderick. And this year I was given by Graham a copy of um, the poem, which some of you may not know. It's, it's uh, not my poem, I may say. At Edinburgh town had joined the clan, had in the expedition been, and at this time durst not be seen, being skulking in Glen Morriston, that's here. Him the soldiers lighted on, near about the prince's age and size, genteelly dressed in no disguise. In every feature for its very face might well be taken in any case. And lest here like a dog be hanged, he chose to die with sword in hand, and round him like a madman struck, vowing alive he'd ne'er be took. Deep wounds he got, and wounds he gave, at last a shot he did receive. And as he fell, them to convince, cried, Ah, alas, you've killed your prince, ye murderers and bloody crew. You had no orders thus to do. I've left your hand, by the way. Yes, I do you know this morning. I was leaving at about four past six. Obviously, fantastic seeing Nelly Leach here and being an actual descendant as well makes it very special. And always bringing the roses. She yeah. The roses. Yeah. I, th I think it was a really nice day. The rain kept off. The midges, well, they sort of more or less kept off too. So, what more could you ask? It was good seeing new faces. And quite a few at that. I was honoured to be invited by, by Nelly today. And it's a very special spot. Special for me too. It's obviously the first time I've been here, knowing all the history of it. Without oral tradition in days like this, this grave will end up becoming overgrown and forgotten about and just yet another gem lost to our heritage. I think it's very important that people keep these things alive because it's days like this that make, make us who we are in the end. He's quite right. We've got to keep it going. This was a really good social event commemorating somebody's extreme bravery actually. And bravery like that shouldn't be forgotten about.